Oh, well, we do continue to see some areas of rain and snow showers all across the valley. Make sure you grab the rain gear and grab a pretty good jacket out there because the wind is blowing quite a bit. This is a look at the Grove City College weather camper here about 14 minutes before 9 o'clock. We had a little bit of snow making on the grass, still just a tad left there, but that is starting to melt away now. Still seeing the snow, though. Same thing outside of our studio here. Some snowflakes coming down. Uh, temperatures are in the low to mid-30s in several spots, so it's chilly. The wind speeds are around 15 miles per hour sustained, making it feel even colder. The heaviest of the snow is starting to move out of the valley, but there still will likely be some flurries, maybe mixed with some sprinkles uh, throughout the rest of the time. The uh, regional radar there shows that uh, precipitation continuing there for a bit. And then as far as the flood alerts go, the flood warnings in Columbiana County were allowed to expire there a little bit after 8 o'clock. So uh, thankfully uh, not uh, seeing those flood warnings. Still watch out for some flooded areas, though. Uh, throughout the rest of the morning, we will see the coverage in the rain and snow showers decrease there. Uh, by the early afternoon, there will still be a few spots of it. And then I expect one little last round here to kind of come through around 4 or 5 o'clock before things really start to become more isolated. Temperatures only make it up into the upper 30s for a high there. As we head towards Saturday morning, still a small chance in the morning. Then all of that goes away, and by Saturday afternoon, we're going to start to see some breaks in the cloud cover there. Should see a considerable amount of sunshine. Same thing. There uh, by the after, late afternoon there, temperatures warming up into the upper 40s. So uh, very small steps towards improvement. High temperature today, upper 30s. Winds could gust over 25 miles per hour. And then, of course, we keep the chances of rain and snow showers. For tonight, a chance of rain and snow showers. Temperatures there dropping off into the mid-30s. Winds could gust up to 20 miles per hour. Here is a look at the eclipse path. And uh, this is a forecasted cloud cover with that. Looks like parts of Illinois, Indiana, and even maybe northwestern Ohio into the valley here might have uh, at least a little bit better chance. I still think there's going to be clouds involved, but maybe a little bit better in terms of the cloud cover, uh, the cloud coverage there. But the northeastern United States has the best chance. The European model has uh, been more pessimistic, uh, but it doesn't exactly mean it's right. It could have too much cloud cover overhead. Clouds, uh, I haven't really talked about this. Clouds one of the hardest things for weather models to predict. They're not very good at it, actually. <laughs> so uh, we're going to see exactly how good these cloud forecasts Forecasts are. We're getting closer and closer. Hopefully, the uh, cloud forecast continues to become more scattered. Uh, once again, though, uh, the European model, along with the American model I just showed, have the best of forecasts there in the northeastern United States for the eclipse. So, hopefully, things continue to improve there. Seven day outlook mostly sunny on Sunday, upper 50s and low 60s. A chance of showers, though, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday with some warm temperatures there. So, we do start to warm up, but it does have some rain chances return back to the forecast.